Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. We are continuing with our bee theme today and I'm really excited for today's projects. I absolutely love the way everything turned out. I'm so excited to share everything with you guys and we have quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you love these type of videos, don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up and if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every single time that I upload. And I would really appreciate it if you share my content with someone that you think might like it. All right, let's go ahead and get started.
So I have always felt that I'm much better at showing than explaining how to do things. And I absolutely love the way that these blocks turned out. I really hope that you guys love it. I love all the different bee themed words, you know, that I was able to come up with four of them, you know, and I just love, love, love this. And I think it would look cute anywhere you want to display it. Um, after we're done with all of our B DIY, I can't wait to actually show you guys how I display them in my home. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you let me know. And of course, I love the way my little B drawings turned out. So I'm very happy with that DIY project. And now we're going to go ahead and take this regular pot and we are going to turn it into such a cute little flower display. Um, so I really hope you guys like this DIY project as well.
So I absolutely love the way that this little honey pot planter turned out. I think it's so stinking cute and it's a little statement piece. And with the plant, it just pops and it looks so cute. And I'm really excited to display it in my home. I really hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Now I wanted to go ahead and create some bumblebees. And I had these little circles um, my sister actually had given them to me, Christina. Um, I talk about her a lot because she gives me a lot of crafting uh, supplies that she likes to buy and not use <laughs> and then gives to me. Anyway, um, and so I am going to be making some bumblebees that we're going to be attaching to um, our little projects. And in case you have some random little circles laying around, um, this is how I went ahead and created mine. Okay guys, so this project is really, really simple and you can get beads from pretty much anywhere. My beads are a combination of beads that I've purchased at 
Dollar Tree. Um, I've got some from Walmart and I basically took a piece of wire and as you can see me uh, putting some here, I am going to be painting some black and I'm going to be painting some white and then the rest are ones that I had already colors for from the Dollar Tree um, packs that I had. So you guys can always paint them if you don't have the colors that you need. And really when it comes to doing these farmhouse um, garlands or beads or whatever you want to call them, um, it's just a matter of deciding what pattern you want to go with. And once you do that, you can literally come up with so many different ideas. I added ribbon at the end. One of my, um, one of my bees which I made and I love 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 the way that it turned out and you guys will have to tell me what you think but just use your imagination I have shown you in other tutorials in the past how I make these um, so I am kind of speeding through this if you wanted to look at my DIYs I have a whole playlist of my DIYs you guys um, so if you wanted to check that out you most definitely can
All right, guys, so for this next project, I wanted to go ahead and make a traditional looking honey pot. Um, not one that I would put in a flower in or a, a plant in, excuse me, one that actually looks like a honey pot, if you get my gist. And I love, love, love the way that this turned out. Um, so I really hope that you guys like it. It's super simple. And this jar was picked up from Dollar Tree. I also wanted to go ahead and point out that I used absolutely no vinyl in any of my DIY projects this week as I had used them in last week's tutorial. And I just want you guys to know that you don't need to have a machine in order to create beautiful DIY projects. You can hand write them like I have done in this week's um, DIY projects. And let me tell you, I absolutely love the way that these turned out. But if you don't like your handwriting or you just simply don't want it handwritten you can always use stickers you can use stencils i mean you guys it it's up to you um there are other alternatives i just want you to know that it's not always it's not something that always has to be handwritten or excuse me <laughs> vinyl my goodness you guys um i hope you get what i mean it is almost 2 a.m believe it or not and uh your girl is tired but hey i commit to these videos and um i'm very tired but uh i follow through Okay guys, so for this next project, I thought it would be so cool to have in my hutch something that looked like actual honey. And I pride myself in creativity and I walked around Dollar Tree and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like 
honey and it's the consistency of honey and it looks like honey and we're gonna roll with it so it's honey as far as anybody else needs to know <laughs> and of course it's just a DIY project so nobody's gonna eat it or even attempt it because it's just not gonna happen with all the hot glue and the cute stuff that I'm gonna add to it um, but you guys you have to use your imagination. Now, this is not soap that I personally, you know, would use for uh, washing my hands, but this is soap that I could use um, for maybe uh, washing my tires or a car or, um, you know, just, I mean, I still use up what I buy. So find a different way to use it or, you know, you know, just find something to do with it. But nonetheless, I love, love, love the way that this looks. And it looks like I took my little honey jar and I put um, the honey into this little guy and we're going to be gifting it to someone. And anywho, I love it. You guys have to tell me what you think. And I kind of want to make a couple more. And I love these this jar in specific because it looked like a honeycomb jar itself. All right, guys, congratulations. We have made it to the last DIY project and you are not seeing things. This is a car from Dollar Tree. And this, my darlings, is what we are using to create our honey dipper. I have thought of a million different ways of creating a honey dipper that's as close as you can possibly get it without machinery. And you guys, I have, I can't even tell you how many ways I have contemplated on making this. And then bam, there it was. Um, so you guys, this is as close as it gets. I cannot tell you how absolutely proud I am of this DIY project. I have never seen anyone get as close to this as I have. So I've got to ring my own bell. Ding, ding, ding. I'm quite proud of myself. And I have to tell you, it's stinking cute. I mean, of course, it's just decorative. I would never use it for actual honey. And I do also want to send a shout out if it was you. Thank you so much. I ended up purchasing um, hot glue for wood, which I didn't even know was a thing. And as a crafter, that's kind of embarrassing. But uh, this is that hot glue. So thank you for whoever told me that little thing. Anywho. I love the way this turned out, you guys, and you can recreate it so easily, and all you need is one dollar uh, from Dollar Tree for the little car, and then I already had the dowel, but anywho, if you don't, it's a two dollar project. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I ask you to please give me a thumbs up, share my content with anyone that you think might like it, social media, and as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.